Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to another episode of Ali Solves. We're going to be doing a uh, Saturday crossword. I'm doing this uh, on Friday night because, uh, uh, you know, when it's Saturday tomorrow, I'm going to be pretty busy. I'm going to have to do my laundry and a few other things. So I figured, you know, let's uh, get it out of the way early, hopefully. Hopefully. This could also end up being a colossal failure, uh, because I am uh, a little bit uh, tired. I um, worked out earlier today, and definitely starting to feel a bit sleepy. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. As you can see, the current streak is 8-10, slowly inching towards that mythical 1,000 mark but still a long way to go hopefully by the end of this video we will add one to this number anyway without further ado let's uh, get started with this puzzle this puzzle by uh, Byron Walden I had to lean in a little bit close to read this text because it is the font is very light I feel like I understand why they did it, like to contrast it from the black font, but on a bright white background, it is a bit hard to read. But anyway, that's enough about that. Let's uh, let's go straight in. This is the Saturday, which means, at least theoretically, in terms of the difficulty of the clues, should be the most difficult puzzle of the week. And let's see if it lives up to expectations. Vivacious. Vivacious? Uh, <laughs> man, when doing crosswords uh, and like seeing a word in a crossword, there's so many times when I'll see a word like this and I'll suddenly realize I don't actually know how you say this word. And that uh, has happened <laughs> literally with clue, with, with one across, with the very first clue. All right. Um, thick envelope during admissions season. That, like college admissions, uh, um, I feel like I'm gonna need to get this on uh, on crosses. That just clicked. I think is going to be Eureka, but does this, does this work? Wine making sediment, hmm. Cinderella's calling card. Man, okay, this, <laughs> this is pretty tough. One time treat with chocolate cream and vanilla cookie. Oh, man, like, is this wrong? Let, let's leave it in for, for... Thick envelope. Can't they all just get... Get... Get along. Like, I, I had to pronounce it like this because it's get, not get. Can't they all just get along? Uh, what are we... Are we talking about... Uh, like, get along little doggy? Like... How, how do you spell that? D O G. Something. Hang on. But could this? I I don't. I'm not confident in this at all. Uh, D merit. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let, let's move on to this one. Lands resoundingly. So this has to be. This has to end in an S. It was not an A, and then S. And then maybe this isn't Eureka. Hmm. Because wine making sediment. You know what? Let's uh, cross that out for now. Lands resoundingly could be thuds under 
cut. With a question mark means that it's going to be some wordplay involved with this clue. In attend. Not sure about that. Dodgers foes for short. This is a sports uh, clue. I don't really follow North American sport. If if indeed that is the clue, and if it's not just some cleverly obfuscated, you know, other reference, which also sometimes happens. Cinderella's calling card. That's heard. Enough could be need I say more, uh, which does fit for a song, could be cheaply. In space, no one can hear you clean. Wally, is that that's I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Deep shade of blue could be lapis, I think. Pictures where people are headscarfed. Hmm. I, I think this has to be cheaply. Competitor on MasterChef. Uh. Like a specific person, or is it a... I don't know. White Russians. High station. I think this is... This is uh, the correct thing. Court order. Request to chat. Because I think this is czarists, the white Russians. And I think this is going to be head scarfed. Oh, okay. Scarf, I think, is being used in the sense of uh, like eating. So we're like, and zombies eat people's brains. So I think this is gonna be zombie movies and pictures uh, is you know another way of saying movies. Th that's a very very sideways kind of clue, but I I, I kind of like it. Like that's a that's a very t very tough, very unusual way of. Phrasing uh, this uh, this answer, which which has which has to be correct, right? I'm I'm surely because yeah, off would have to be a miss. Competitor, oh, man, what? I'm still, uh, hmm. Take me or leave me musical. I think it's gonna be rent. High station is gonna be eminence, maybe, possibly. Off could be ice. Is it Death be not proud for one. On tap. Oblique. Have I gotten the uh, end of this wrong? Home cook, I think. So let's, let's, hang on, let's put this back in. Oblique could be skewed. Let's take a look at Q word. Death. I mean, I'm not familiar with this. I've I've, I've like seen the title somewhere, but I think it might be a sonnet. Q word could be. You know, on tap. Something that many people... This could be a gene. 
or a meme. Uh, okay, hang on. This could be to come. Presented with the ticket could be probably cited. Philosophy profession could be creed, credo. Created the Python language. Hmm. Pieces of punditry could be op eds. Notably circular formations on Mars. Don't know. Don't know. But option for claustrophobic patients is going to be open something. Bearings. Yeah, this uh, this checks out. Book it. Court or could be palace guards, maybe? Hmm. W what is this? Photodynamic therapy could be lasers. It probably is that, in fact. Older companion could be wi wiser, you know? Older and wiser. Requests to chat. So maybe it's, maybe this isn't like palace. Maybe it's something else. Didn't shrink. Book it. Hmm. Reserve. Reserved. Reserved seat. And then this has to be uh, an. O oh, at the end. Request to... Ch oh, it, it could be something... Goddess. Oh, Goddess Sec. Ah, so this is indeed palace something. Didn't shrink. Dared. All right. D like, didn't shrink in fear. Oh, this is maybe something Oreo? Maybe? Calling card. Cinderella's calling card. I'm still not. Still not seeing it. Demerit. Hmm. Ah, see, now I'm worried because this segment is now completely cut off. So nothing else I do in the rest of the puzzle. Is gonna help me in this Dodgers foes. Well, like, what, what even are the Dodgers? It's uh, let's see, like, oh God, like, do man, I'm I'm drawing a complete. I have no idea where they're from. Uh, yeah, not totally. Like, n no, no clue. Intend. Let's uh, see. Hmm. If I intend, I. Um, if I intend to do something, I aim to do something. I plan to do something. Plan feels like a weak synonym for intend. Under. Cut. Hmm. Lands resoundingly. Yeah, and and if and and if this is plan, then this couldn't be thuds because we couldn't have D immediately followed by an N, and then that just be the end of the word, right? That that wouldn't make sense. Can't they just all get along? What? Hmm. It's like I feel like this has to be S, right? Thick envelope during what? Thick envelope during admissions 
season say what oh man that's just a that's that's bothering me all right Cinderella like are we talking about like Cinderella from the uh, the fairy tale or some or something different hmm one time treat oh hang on this is this is something Oreo like a something Oreo but then what is this intend Um, with chocolate cream and vanilla cookies. Like, this is the, uh, like, Bizarro reverse Oreo, I think. I think, right? Because, I mean, crosswords love including Oreos as one of the answers. It's just become, like, a huge in-joke. I also feel like I remember seeing something like this with chocolate cream and vanilla cookies. So let's if you say that this is tough. Can we Nah. Demerit. Like, where, where are the Dodgers from? Like, I, see, I, I don't even, I don't even know that much. And I feel like this is definitely my Achilles heel when it comes to crosswords. You might be wondering, how have you gotten a, a streak of 810 if you don't even know where the Dodgers are from? I, honestly, I, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just as amazed as you are. I, I guess I know enough other... And you can usually... If you don't know a clue... You can usually fumble your way by getting the rest of the clues, but then you, you <laughs> the, the catch is that you actually do have to get something else. Right, so I'm, I'm pretty confident that this is some kind of Oreo, because what else could end with E and O? Uh, it's unlikely that it's, like, I'm pretty confident in this, in this much, right? And then the, the Dodgers' foes. I think, I think the Dodgers are baseball. That, that I'm about <laughs> about seventy percent sure. Um, like only only time. I'm like I'm not gonna look it up in the middle of a puzzle, obviously, right? Because that might just give me the answer. Um, like even if it doesn't directly give me this answer. Uh, just knowing whether or not they're a baseball team for sure would give me information that I don't, that I haven't organically gotten, right? So, you know, my, I'll talk more about my philosophy about what is and isn't allowed when solving, but suffice it to say, I'm not going to be looking up anything while I'm solving unless... Unless I'm giving up, in which case, uh, you will, uh, you'll find out. You will find out. If, if I'm giving up, I'll do it in front of all of you, and we will end my streak on camera, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Why am I even <laughs> talking in such apocalyptic terms, right? Let's just... Let's take a deep breath. Let's relax. Let's relax. 
Calm down. Let's center ourselves. And let's take another look. Vivacious. I th ooh, I think this is this. Thick. I think... Vivacious... Could be lively? But then... Thick envelope. Oh, oh. It's... Uh, the thick envelope means they sent you the admissions package, as opposed to a thin envelope, which is probably just the rejection. And this is going to be... Something I see. But hang on, let's let's take let's take a look at this. Demerit. Well, let's take let's, let's take a look at this. Iced Oreo. Maybe this is not correct. Maybe it's not lively. But I'm pretty confident in the final part of it, right? In fact, I'm so confident that, hang on, let's take a look at this. Undercut. Under. Under. Cut. Und, man, I'm a, at, at a complete loss. I feel like this is going to be one of those where you're not going to guess it. You're going to get it on crosses, and then you're going to have to figure out, like, why the hell does this answer mean undercut? Because sometimes they're literally, like, unless you have a completely weird abnormal brain that makes crazy connections <laughs> you know the kinds of weirdos that solve <laughs> the cryptic crossword if you're not one of those you know aliens pretending to be humans and if you're a normal re relatively normal person like me a lot of these things just don't make like a lot of these really unorthodox wordplay answers that don't really make sense to you unless you've already solved it from some other angle, like from getting the crosses, and then you got to figure out why is that the case? Why can't they just get along? I think I'm gonna go... Now, is it Dogi? As is it spelled... G-I, or, you know what, let's, uh, demerit, intend, uh, let me, let me put I C at the end. I'll, I'll see if, if that does anything. Undercut. Well... Hmm. Cinderella's calling card. Because I don't know. This might not be wrong, but I'm thinking, like, this is a term, right? And lands resound re lands resoundingly. So let's see. Man, I'm just completely just grasping for possible answers. This is obviously not the answer, because how could this be undercut? That doesn't make any sense. But I was like, if this is indeed I see, then... With SI as the second, like, what else could possibly be 
the first one. Hmm. Vivacious. Just, hang on, let's... Oh. Demerit. Hang on. It could be okay. Demerit. Lands resoundingly. I don't think this is correct. Yeah. And that just clicked. Hmm. <sighs> okay, you know, let, let's 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 uh, let's look at this. Right, let's let, let's look at this. Intend. Let's let's go through the alphabet. A unlikely bode maybe undercut could be slice nah that's not a it's not a thing demerit Something. What could this be? Like. Diet? I don't think so. Like, hang on, let's. Let's, let's see. Cinderella's calling card. No, that surely isn't. I d and I don't think Bode is uh, is correct. Intend C D Hope This might also not be correct. Can't they all just get along? Yeah, this might be... You know what? Let's not... But then... But then what is this? Demerit. Let's take... Hmm. Cinderella's calling card. Hmm... So I was just closing uh, one of my other open windows that was uh, distracting me. That just clicked. I mean, th this has to be icy. Like, it it has to end like this. Now let's look at undercut. What? Vivacious. Let's just put something in for the sake of putting something in. Cinderella's calling card. What? Man, that... Oh, not lively, lively. But then, but then, what else? 
Okay, so let's see. Let's assume it's this. No. But then it has to be this. But then what else could this be? You know, let's 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 go through the alphabet. Does anything make sense? A B C D E F G uh, J um, M P Q R S T U V W Yeah, I've okay. Hmm. I mean this feels cor correct but maybe So okay, what kind of Oreo would have chocolate cream and vanilla cookies? Let's try something. So, chalk. So it couldn't be like uh, like chalk or you know, because the clue already mentions chocolate, right? Even though the, like the O works out. But then, let's stay with this for a second. Because let's assume that this is O I C or A ah, I C. One of the two. So then there aren't that many things that you can put in the first slot. If the second letter is going to be an H, right? What can you put? Uh, like ostensibly, you could put. Vowels like A, E, I, O, U, but it's not looking very likely. You couldn't really put something like B because, you know, English doesn't work like that. What you could put are things like S, G, maybe unlikely, C, but we've kind of <laughs> ruled that out. Uh, uh, T. P, but that doesn't make sense either, All right? Let's take a look at intend again. Man, what the fuck is this? Cinderella's calling card. S sorry for the swearing, but I, I really am at a... You know what? One bit of advice that they always tell you is that if you're stuck at one part, don't obsess over it. Move on to something else. And then you're, even though you don't realize that your brain is going to be kind of working on it in the background, what you really need is some time away. Give your mind a rest. And... Uh, And just uh, when you come back, sometimes you'll have an aha moment. Um, at least I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. London Dunderhead. Ooh, I don't know. Showstopper. Oof. Not clean in a way. Mm. Black. Oh my God. This entire puzzle is just. Uh, Mars Dunes, maybe? Present for the approval of 
Maybe Ron is like this sounds like it could be a person's name. What table? What? Didgerudo sound? Maybe this isn't Dunes. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, Afghan region. Right. I know a few places in Afghanistan, right? There's uh, a Tora Bora, probably. Azimuth? I've heard that word before, but I, I don't remember what it means. Many a 10 code user. I think CB, or I only know this from, from doing the crossword. Right. I think this could be crap stable. Oh, run past. I'm just, it's pretty dark. I need to turn my light on. Run past. Encouraging signs in the market. Ooh, did you do? Is it going to be a drone? Long time name in top forty radio, but I don't know that. Black heart. What? London Dunderhead S Showstopper Hmm Encouraging signs in the market. Something trends? Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is, this is going to be a tough one. Claustrophobic patience. Open something or the other. Lead into location could be geo location, but no. Mac? Zero stars. What? It. Oh, dislocation. It. it this is going to be open MRI, I think. Nothing to write home about mediocre, I think. That works out. Dislocation. Mac, for example. Uh, cup alternative. It sucked, but... Mm, gathering, like, breakfast life. It's going to be something con. It, oh, it could be it stinks, but then does this make sense? Uh, it could be. I think, yeah. Stereotypical beatnik accessories, I think beret. Oh, it's going to be a raincoat. Cup alternative. Uh, cane? Because I think this is the... Uh, Cup alternative what? Hang on. Check what? Check. Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. Hmm, I Maybe this isn't correct. Cup alternative. What? Am I fucking losing my mind? Uh Okay, let's let's think about it. Cup 
alternative. And like we have literally every other letter. So what could A, B, C, Mint? Oh, Pint? Maybe? That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, this is going to be prior. But then... Uh, cup alternative. Like cane? But how, how, how does that make sense? And... Importantly, how does check equal gab? That doesn't... Well, like... Hang on a second. Because I was thinking maybe like this is like gay con, but I, I don't think... Okay, let's think about it. check. A, B, C... Nab? No, man, man. Oh, dude, this is so difficult. This is so tough. And then I've got to go back to the other sections that I couldn't answer. Wow. Oh my god. This is a fucking nightmare. So you know, what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this prior. I'm gonna call this uh, this. Now, oh, cup alternative is gonna be a cone. And then check. Tab? Uh, toy con? Brick, Brickfest Live is that's like Lego stuff, right? I don't know why I thought this was gonna be like a, a, a gay thing. I, I think it's because of the Y, and I was like, what three letter word fits? I was like, I, I, I was like, I don't know, maybe bricklayers or considered to be, you know, gay icons somehow, you know, like, like, you know, like, you know, like the police officer and the, the construction worker and, you know, the, the YMCA song, like, I was like maybe, maybe that, that, that was my train of thought, <laughs> but obviously, obviously this is, this is that, right? What the fuck is azimuth? But let's see. Could, could this be Seacrest? And could this be Ark? And Black Heart. Showstopper could be hiatus. Not clean could be on dope. Then this could be up trends. Oh, bl oh, bl black heart meaning the word black. And what's in the middle, the letter A, but not just any A, but a short A. And London, Dunderhead, they might be talking about London, Ontario, because this is definitely a... Oh, this is something that people think Canadians say, even though I, I live in Ontario, I've never heard anybody actually say this. Maybe they say it in other parts of the country, like, you know, out west, but in, <laughs> in Toronto... I very rarely hear this word, but, uh, and yeah, and then this is ado, right. So, there's this part of the puzzle I dealt with. Now we got to come back to the, this part, which ha is rapidly turned into the final boss, 
of all crosswords, of all crosswords everywhere. Dodgers foe, Dodgers, are they, like, where, where are they from? L Los Angeles? I don't know, man. Like, fucking, I, I, I literally don't know. Um, are they? Demerit. I, like, I might have to take a break and then come back and then record, like, the rest of this at a separate time because I tell you what. I'll give it... Because how long have we been going? We've been going a long fucking time. It's just been 45 minutes. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes. Um, in fact, I'm going to set a 10-minute uh, timer on my phone and if this timer goes off and this is unsolved then we are gonna I'm gonna take a bit of a break I won't p solve anything in the puzzle itself I will just uh, ponder it I, I might have to sleep on it and then record the rest of this tomorrow morning <laughs> before I do my laundry. I've got to do cardio as well tomorrow. There's a whole bunch of... I was hoping I could get this done. But obviously, uh, I was... Uh, I underestimated Byron Walden and how devious this person was going to be. All right. Undercut. Man, what a weird fucking clue, man. Come on. Ah. Like... Lands resoundingly. Intend, man. Is this not? Is this not an Oreo? Have I been just wrong about this? Uh, man, what? What the? F what is this? It's like this is just this whole section is just completely incomprehensible to me. Just completely incomprehensible. Oh, Dodgers. Look, Cinderella's calling card. Okay, let's... Because... Let's assume it's the fairy tale and not some weird... Like, alternate use of the term Cinderella. Like, what what happens in the story, right? She, uh... Like, does she even have a... Co like, she's just a... Like a kid who goes to the ball and then leaves. Like, she leaves her, uh... Her shoe, right? Her glass slipper. But then... I don't see how that would fit in here. S L I P P E R. Yeah, that doesn't even that doesn't even fit. But I think that, that, this has to be Oreo. Come on, let's let's not completely lose our minds. And then this has to be a vowel, right? Let, let's let's think about this. I'm thinking D merit. Most likely. A or I? Let's let's think about it. A R I. That's a, that could be like Arizona, but I don't think. Are, are, like, is it the like? Are they 
And then diet? Is that a thing that Cinderella is known for? Hmm. Alternatively, this could be an I. Dodgers foes. Oh, it's the IRS. We're talking about tax dodgers. Okay. That took me way too long. There should have probably been a question mark on this. All right. C Cinderella's calling card. Something set. Something so let's You know what hang on, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pause my timer five minutes through because I, f I feel like we're making some sort of progress. So the IRS, and for short, also makes sense because we're using the abbreviation, demerit. I think that's like a penalty, like a, you know, like you ding something, tend, intent, no. Maybe it's not a ding. Could be ah, I see. Could be oh, I see. Could even be okay, I see. But then that makes this word a bit awkward. Alright, land. Resounding. Let's, let's take another look at this. Cinderella's calling card. Um. In fact, let's just just for fun. Let's see what happens if we do this. And let's just put that and put this. That feels like it hasn't really helped me much. Cinderella's calling card. Uh, fucking hell, man. Oh. This was indeed a very unusual term of uh, unusual usage of the term Cinderella. Big upset. Okay. Intent could be hope. But then what? Demerit really bad thing? That seems <laughs> Okay. Bubbly for vivacious. That does make sense. Undercut B side. Yeah, see you would you would never <laughs> guess this so it's like cut in the sense of uh this is some fucking 
like cryptic crossword level shit cut in the sense of uh, a song under in the sense of on the underside of the record and this is the uh-oh oreo and we have indeed completed that okay now that now that we've completed that even though it was irrelevant to the puzzle ultimately i'm gonna look up where the hell are the dodgers from L los angeles what what did i tell you i mean <laughs> i mean i'm acting all confident now but if you if you go back to the footage earlier, I, I'm pretty sure there was a point where I wasn't even 100% convinced that they were a, a baseball team. I was like, I'm about, I'm about... I didn't even know what sport they played. Uh, like, I was about 70% sure that they were a baseball team. And now I'm acting like, of course, Los Angeles. No, no. No, Ali, don't... Don't engage in revisionist history over stuff that literally just happened 40 minutes ago. All right? Just... Acknowledge that you don't know sports and <laughs> you get through life by hoping you know enough of the other stuff that your lack of sports knowledge isn't going to doom you. Man, oof. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually sweating right now. I'm actually... Oh, God, that's... Uh... Okay, let's, let's take a look at this puzzle, all right? The rest of it had some tough parts, like this is an unusual thing. Toy-Con... I should have gone this earlier. I, I watch a lot of uh, LEGO stuff on YouTube, like re reviews of LEGO sets, and people with their own custom creations. Like, amazing, amazing stuff. You should definitely check it out. If you can. There's a... I forget... What the name of the project was, but there's a bunch of people who collaborated to create an absolutely gigantic uh, cyberpunk Lego city. In fact, if you just go to YouTube and if you Google cyberpunk Lego city, I'm sure it'll come up. Just like, like watch that shit. It's, it's fucking amazing. But yeah, it makes sense that Assuming Brickfest is Lego related, that it would be a toy con. That makes sense. I'm glad I <laughs> just, you know, was searching through my brain for just vague, like, Afghanistan names. Like, there's Kandahar, there's Helmand, there's a. There's, and there are a bunch of other names, right? That, I could, that if a few letters were in place, I could recognize them or, or like guess what they are. And I'm glad that we got that because this really helped us fill this part. This was very sneaky. I, like, because London, they don't say this in London, England, do they? Surely not. Like, uh, like it's not a stereotypical like, London, England thing to say. It's definitely a Canadian thing to say, which is why if by this they meant London, Ontario, that's, that's very sneaky. Um, this I'm glad I got. Uh, and then this was... Uh, I think I think it was when I was doing this clue that I realized that, okay, this, this puzzle is going to be tough. Because that, that was a very, very unusual way to clue this. And... Uh, my first instinct on this was correct. Even on this, my instinct was correct. It was some sort of Oreo. Thuds was my immediate thought on this, and that was indeed correct. Um, bad thing for demerit. That's... I mean... Technically, it's correct, but that's just... That phrasing, bad thing, is just... <laughs> Just, it, it feels out of place in a, a puzzle with, like, 
clues like or answers like Zarists and Tora Bora, fucking Anorak, like the you know, prior, you know, like high class stuff, and then suddenly the, the, the answer is just bad thing. Dogies, uh, I was uh, correct about this as well. This man, the undercut, the fucking Cinderella stuff, the Dodgers, like, that haunted me all throughout this entire puzzle. Uh, and we ended it off with bad thing. That was, uh, that was nice. Alright, so, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go to, uh, the mini. We're gonna do the mini. And a friend of mine has, uh... Alright. So, defeat by a large margin could be route. What? Okay, maybe that... Totally out of energy, man. This this isn't a mini. This is a this is this is too big to be a mini. Accident? What? Oh, prone. Opposite of over could be under. Then what? What the hell is this? Th then this, this is route. So, hang on a second. Polar bear? What? Paddle? Maybe. Track athlete? Man. What? Oh, dude. Come on. Why is that? Why is this many so complicated? I I was just trying to get like a palate cleanser after a dude. Oh my god. What is Oh, this is Claude, I think. Ay, jeez, okay. Totally out of energy could be... This is gonna be drub. Beer. Be drained. Track athlete could be runner. Roused is stirred from slumber. Double-edged. Polar bear plunge. Okay, that that makes sense. This is going to be weed, crude, and you brew some beer. And we're done with the mini. Finally, just to end off, we're going to just briefly go into spelling bee. And I've been solving the spelling bee on my phone, but it should carry over into, uh, like, if I open this, it should remember, yeah, okay, the 69, nice, the words that I found earlier, and so I, a friend and I, we solve the spelling bee together, like, we don't look anything up, obviously, but we share with each other the words that we found, like, like, we literally send screenshots of all the words that we found, you know, and then we pool it together. And the goal is to, to try and hit the Queen Bee rank, which is when you've gotten all of the words. And these are the words I have so far. And my friend just messaged me with another word with this collection of letters. Dicta that hasn't quite taken us to Queen Bee because there's a like a ton of words today like 70 is a it's an unusually high number of words and 400 is an unusually high number of points but that's enough spelling bee I don't think we're gonna hit Queen Bee especially because I'm so mentally drained after this crossword that I, I think it's time to it's time to wrap things up. Um, all right, before we end, let's just go back into the puzzle a little bit. Appreciate this a little more because this was a hard-fought victory. A hard, hard-fought victory. It took us more than an hour, 
and it is by f- not just the most difficult puzzle of the week. This is the most difficult puzzle I've had all year. I don't think I've, out of all the puzzles I've solved, so far, that, that I've, I don't think I've ever had one more difficult than this. Maybe in the 800 or so in the streak, maybe one or two might have been more difficult. But in recent memory, I don't think anything comes close. This was a very difficult puzzle. Um, and now that it's done, now that I can look back on it, I, I feel, I feel pretty satisfied. So I, I'm gonna have to read the, uh, uh, so if you go on the, uh, the wordplay, the blog, right, you know, the, the crossword blog, you know, from the New York Times, at the end of it, they have, a. a little message from the uh, constructor, usually, usually. Um, And usually the constructors will talk about which clues the, uh, like, the editors kept, which ones they changed, and I'm very interested to see if they're going to mention any of these clues, like, like the zombie movie thing, like the Cinderella thing, or like this, like, were they all from the constructor, or did the editors intervene to to make this puzzle more difficult by turning these clues into like fucking like okay maybe bad thing okay that's just an awkward phrase. There's not many ways you could um fiddle with that like but like big upset to be like Cinderella's calling card like come on that's. That's, uh, like, is, again, is this, like, an American sports thing? Like, is this a common thing that people say? I Like, I don't watch a lot of uh, local sports. Maybe, maybe this is something people say all the time. Maybe, like, not a day goes by that you don't hear somebody shouting out the word Cinderella. Who knows? <laughs> but, but, but to me, I definitely had a reach deep into the recesses of my mind and to grab this um but yeah i'd I'd be i'm gonna be very curious to see how many of these clues are from byron and how many were uh, inserted after (laughs) it was submitted by you know the uh, the editors but yeah as a puzzle as a whole it it was it was very well done right like there's not many parts like every part of it feels substantial and not like none of it feels contrived like these are all real genuine answers right it's just that some of them were clued in uh, maybe not the easiest way which of course you'd expect that right this is a, a saturday puzzle the most difficult of the week but still uh, even for a saturday this one was unusually difficult but yeah that hard fought victory takes us to 811 so the streak inexplicably still goes on and uh, only <laughs> air quotes only 189 more to go before we hit that magical 1000 mark but yeah with that i think uh, i think that's gonna be all for uh this one it is now 11 10 p.m and it is way past my bedtime but i I am gonna go to sleep satisfied at having solved this monster of a puzzle and with that i wish the rest of you uh, a good night as well i uh Hope uh, hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great time. Hope you have great uh, luck in your own puzzle-solving endeavors. If, uh, as I suspect, many of you are probably you know solving on your own, you know. So I hope you have all the success in the world <laughs> when it comes to solving 
whatever puzzles you put your mind to. And with that, it's time for me to say uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. And I hope you'll join me for the next one as well. And until then, take care.